Hello everyone and welcome to Retro Bowl. That's right, the football game that you've probably heard everybody talking about by now. Literally my favorite mobile game of all time. I love this game. It's amazing. Really, there's not a whole lot bad that can be said about it. My biggest complaint was that there weren't kickoffs, and now there are kickoffs. So um, it's a game that continuously gets updated. It's a game that never gets old. As you can see, I'm on season 65 in my main account. Um, so today I'm going to be walking you through some of the features of the extended version, kind of how to start it up. If you haven't gotten in a Retro Bowl yet, go download it. It's free. I got a purchase to remove the ads. It was $0.99, cents, which is really good. Literally everything that I can say about this game. Is good. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and click new game. It's going to give you this welcome screen. Um, you get to pick the name uh, of your coach, of yourself. I'm going to go with, um, I don't know, I guess we'll just go with uh, with celest Celestial Chaos. There's a, wor there's a, a word limit or a letter limit. Uh, chaos. There we go. Celestia. We'll go with that. Uh, favorite team. I you can You can select whatever team you want. My favorite team is uh, Cleveland, so we'll go with Cleveland. And I don't want to start with my favorite team. I want to start with a random team. Uh, continue. So here we go. With just one week left in the regular season, the New York Jets have appointed Celestia Chaos as their new head coach. Worked at the college level for seven years and was excelling at the head coach of UFC. Cool. Um, are you UFC, U, USF? Is that a real college? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to be playing as the Jets, so we're going to suck. This is your home screen. You can tap on the division table to view divisions and the schedule. So, um, right, you click on that. It shows you current standings right now. We're 3-13. and 13. We're last in the AFC East. You can look at the NFC right now. Looks like the best record across the league is the Tennessee Titans. They're 13-3. and three. Give you the schedule. It's week 18 who everybody's playing. Uh, so we lost 38-10 to 10 to Las Vegas last week. So we're coming off a loss. He says it right there. 38 to 10. Um, right now, our offense is one star, our defense is half a star, and our fans are 30%. So I'll explain what all that means. If you go to the front office, uh, you can upgrade facilities and staff, bring up useful information. So your stadium determines um, how much your fan rating is affected by a win or a loss. So if you have a high stadium rating, right now my stadium is 3, but if you have a 10 stadium rating, you won't lose much when you lose, and you'll gain a lot percent uh, fans when you win so right now like I said I'm at 30 percent fans probably going to lose this next game so that'll take a huge hit because my stadium is only three points training facilities determine um, how quickly your players gain XP which is also influenced by the rating of your staff so right now I have a two training facilities a half star offensive coordinator and a half star defensive coordinator which means we're not going to gain XP at a very good rate rehab facilities uh, determine how much you um, your condition of the players lessens during the game. So right now I have one rehab facility. So if I had a 10, we wouldn't lose that much percentage per game. But right now we have a one rehab facility, so our, re our player condition is probably going to take a hit. Low condition uh, generally means less XP and more likely to get hurt. If you get hurt, this player is forced to be out of, uh, out of the roster for several weeks. So your um, the rate at which you gain and lose... Condition is also based off of light, normal, or hard uh, training regimen. Hard training regimen means more XP gained per game, but you're going to lose more condition. So I try and use that sparingly because, uh, again, low condition means players are more likely to be hurt, and when you have a star player out for a few games, it makes it really hard, especially on offense. So right now we'll leave those both at normal. Uh, we'll talk about hiring all that, all that later. Draft picks down here, whenever you start a new season so like after this game we're going to start a new season we'll get a good a good pick a medium pick and a bad pick and so we'll be able to add three players to our team if you go to the roster very convenient um you can see that if i go here it'll player details player morale morale actually doesn't mean anything so i kind of tend to ignore morale uh, it's still good to have eventually you'll get to where you can keep a high morale um, but morale generally doesn't do much there. Low conditioning leads to injuries and fumbles. I didn't realize it led to fumbles. Um, so in here, you're going to have a bunch of options right now. They're all grayed out. Um, but rest means you put the player on your bench. It makes them out for a game, but it moves their condition back to 100%. Stats, you view the statistics of the player. Meeting, you can do certain things like level them up, boost their morale, boost their condition. 
uh, and then trade, you can trade a player to get more draft picks. Right now at value, it says a round two pick. So if I were to trade this player right now, I would get a second medium draft pick in the next round. So I would have one, two, and one. Instead of going back here, I have one, one, and one. Uh, we won't worry about increased salary cap right now. Basically, um, you have a certain amount of money that you can spend on players. So he is a $15 million two-year contract. Right now, we're only taking up $44 million of the $150 million. Looking in the settings menu, you have exit game, change cam zoom. I always leave cam zoom on. Right now, I have sound off because I don't want to get copyright restrained. I keep quarters at two minutes just to keep the game kind of short. We're actually going to go to hard mode because I'm kind of a god at this game, so I don't want to win everything right off the bat. That's no fun. I keep drive direction at left because I'm used to swiping with my right thumb. Turn off scan lines because they give me a literal seizure. Uh, I like playing with a 12-man roster. It just feels more fun, more full to me kind of closer to um, a real team. It's a little bit easier to win with 12-man 12, uh, 12 roster because you also get an expanded salary cap, so you can hire some really, really good offensive players. Um, and so generally speaking, I probably should have mentioned this, but the uh, higher salary, so like a $15 million contract for two years, is not high at all for a quarterback. Most quarterbacks are going to be between 35 and $40 million, assuming you have a good quarterback. And it's really hard to win without a good quarterback. Uh, I like to keep weather on just to keep it interesting. Kickoff returns always on. Team editor, um, you go in here. You can edit the home, away, alternate, and rush jerseys of all the teams. So, like, right now we are the Jets. So, if I find New York J, um, I'm going to completely revamp this team at some point. I'm going to make blue and yellow jerseys. I think blue and yellow is really cool. So, we'll go ahead and we'll... I don't want to be the Jets. I want to be the Knights. So, we'll be the Knights. Short name... Can I, I guess, just for nights. All of this is just cool that you can change here. Rainfall, snowfall. I don't like rain, so we'll put this down to 5. I like snow, so we'll put this up to 50. This is just changing the likelihood of rain or snow during a game. So 50% royalty, 50% chance is pretty good. No roof. Oh. I guess I don't want a roof. Get the roof out. I didn't realize you could change a roof. End zone color, we're going to make that dark blue because our colors are going to be blue and gold. So I'll go ahead and change the home jerseys. We have a blue helmet. Uh, we'll keep the white logo. Jersey color is going to be blue. The sleeve is going to be this yellow color. The pants are going to be blue as well. The stripe is going to be yellow. Um, and we'll leave the socks alone for now. So those are our jerseys. Looks kind of like the Rams. And then you can alternate or you can change these other uh, jerseys as well. And you can change them all for every team. So it's safe. So like I could go to Miami and I could change these jerseys um some teams are really ugly jerseys so you can change them at will hit done go back here and uh, that's the options menu so let's go ahead and play this first game you have taken charge of should say knights i don't know why it doesn't say knights uh but whatever here we go we are going to play i changed it to knights there anyway, there's our home jersey so we can mess around with this later but we're going to play miami we're going to see how well this goes here we go we get the kickoff and they are probably going to go right through our defense because we have a half-star defense. And there we go. Touchdown. Not even 45 seconds into the game. But they gave us a chance because they missed the extra point. So we'll go down here in the end zone. Usually I do touchbacks if you're in the end zone. Um, guarantees that you'll have good, pretty good starting position. Are our receivers good enough? No. I thought our receiver might have been fast enough to beat his man. He was in one-on-one -on -one coverage at the top of the screen. And that just didn't happen. So what I like to do, if they're not fast, throw this little screen pass right down there like that. And that's going to actually get us a first down. I thought we were going to be down at about five yards, but we got 11, so that's good. Hand the ball off. Keep swiping, keep swiping, and out of bounds. Look at that, already getting achievements. Sick. Uh, I'm going to try and throw it to the running back here. That was a pick. Damn it. I always do that. I always underthrow the running back. And so now Miami is going to have the ball at the 45, and they're going to go right through the defense. They scored again before the first quarter is even over. So this is not looking good for us. I don't think we're going to win in our debut. But here we go. All right, we're on the 10, so I'll go ahead and take this one out. Uh, I don't have a designated kick returner. I forgot to do that, so I'll have to remember to do that at the end of the game to pick a kick returner because right now it was a non-star player that was doing it. And what non-star players do is they don't have really beefed-up stats, so their stats are based on a coach. So like these offensive players, that you see how... Uh, there's a yellow highlight around the wide receiver on the bottom of the screen, but not the one at the top of the screen. The one at the top of the screen is based off of my offensive coordinator rating, who right now is at 
I think, half a star or one star or something. So his stats are not good at all, and I can't level him up because he's not actually on my roster. He's just a backup player. I tried to throw a little screen to my running back there, and that didn't work at all. So now we're faced with second and long. Running back on the bottom. Ah, crap. That was just a crap. That was crap. I was trying to get my wide receiver to get open on the bottom of the screen, and I dropped back long enough that I let the pass rush get in. So We'll just try and get some positive yardage here. That wasn't going to be a first down no matter what. Um, so we'll have to punt, see if we can stop them. Two minutes left in the second half, and they decide to go for a field goal. So we're down 17 nothing. Uh, All right, 10 seconds left. Let's go deep just for fun. Let's just throw it up there. Let's just see if our receiver is trash, so he's not going to catch it. Sick. We'll throw it to this guy, just a little screen pass, just to get some yardage. There you go. Six yards. Fill out. We should get the kickoff, though. Down by 17, two halves left. I'm going to try and throw this little crossing route here. It worked for Santos is our wide receiver, so that's pretty cool. Tight end's going to get open here, so I'll talk quick to him. Generally, you can tell if you have the defense as a pass rush lined up right against your tight end. He's usually going to beat him nine times out of ten. So have a, a, quick, um, a quick passing play. Even if he's not a star player, he should still make the catch and he'll be able to run for a couple yards. Uh, I like throwing it to my star player. That was a screen pass that was too short. So now we'll run the ball. Stiff arm right out of the way. Let's go. And that's a rush for a first down. Let's go. I was saying let's go a lot. I'm sorry. It's a, uh, I guess it's a habit of mine. I didn't realize that I had that habit, but let's go. So now we're on the 20. So if I hadn't thrown that interception, maybe this game would be 14-7, and this would be to tie it up, Maybe. So that was a bad on my part. I said I was God tier at this game, and apparently I was lying because I threw a pick on the first drive. But if we can get a defensive stop, we can get right back in this game. Just again, with a one-star defense, I don't think that's going to happen. Nobody was open, so I pulled it back and ran with the quarterback. First touchdown as the Knights slash New York J because it didn't save. And my kicker is actually a star player, so we're able to hit the kick there, I forgot to try and doink it. You can doink kicks off the goalpost. Square keeps missing the tackle. I don't know why his name is Square. Probably because he's really bad at his job and squares just tend to suck. So, appropriately named. I'm biased against squares. We're in the end zone, so we'll go for a touchback. Right here, it's, it's doesn't really matter what we do here. We're going to lose this game anyway, so we'll try and just get some yards, level up our players. 18 yards is pretty respectable for a passing play. Good job there, buddy. You can you celebrate that all you want. That screen pass didn't go anywhere, which is sad and depressing. But yeah, this is Retro Bowl. So if you, if you know about football, even if you really don't, it's still a pretty fun game. I like to use it just as a time killer. You know, it's a pretty straightforward to play. Like, I can tell, you know, okay, running back should have caught that, but he's trash because if you go into roster... And you look at their stats, he's probably not very good in the catching because, well, he's a running back. So let's see if we can get in a field goal range here. I want to hit a field goal before this game's out. Um, it's going to be a pretty short field goal because we're already on the 20. I find that if you're around the 50, you have a good enough kicker, the 50-yard line is field goal range in this game. So it's not really accurate to where, um, in real life, you'd never be able to hit a kick from the 50. But in this game, it does happen. That was almost another pick went right over the defender's head. Let's start for the touchdown. Let's see if we can not make Miami feel them, feel bad about this here. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. Uh, so, but that's Retro Bowl. So we'll hit the one point conversion. There, I doinked it. I doinked it right off the thing. Let's let's try an onside kick, and that didn't work. So they get good field position. So they're going to do field goal, and the game is over. Twenty-seven to fourteen with an interception on my part. Um, but we got one coaching credit. So as you can see, our fans have dropped to 17% because we have a bad stadium. Um, and what that means is I only get one coaching credit per game. When you get up to 35%, you get two coaching credits a game. And when you get beyond 67%, you get three coaching credits a game. So it's kind of important to level up your stadium early on so that you can get it up to above 60% uh, fan rating and you'll be able to get three coaching credits a game because coaching credits, you see right now I have four of them, are how you uh, upgrade your other facilities, such as your rehab and training facilities. 
So right here, praising the player isn't going to do anything because, again, morale doesn't really mean much. But I'll praise the fans, get them a little bit closer to 35, so when we do get a win, they'll get boosted up, and we can go ahead and uh, get more coaching credits a game. Right here, if this weren't the last game of the season, I would probably rest the running back because he's below 70% condition. Uh, I find 70% is generally the threshold for, you know, if if you're below 70, you're more likely to get hurt. So once you get down to 70, I tend to rest players. Since it's the last um, game of the season, we're not going to worry about it. But how you would do that, you go into roster and you'd hit bench. Um, so as you can see, as I was saying, his catching is not good at all. Um, it won't let me pick a kick returner, which is odd. So I don't know. All right, well, that's Retro Bowl. That's the first game of the season. I'll probably do more of these because Retro Bowl is fun. I'm planning on playing through a season scene if I can't win the Retro Bowl because I have a bajillion of these on my other account. I, I know I can do it. So that'll probably be a 2020 video something series coming out here. If you want to see more, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe because uh, only 30 people have ever done it. So you'd be very unique and very special. So Go hit the like button, go subscribe, uh, go have some fun, and I will see you next time.